with it. Finally, we just kind of put a nail on the coffin so the uplets put this together. We applied the gland in. They did a wonderful grant to help us figure out what we're going to look like January 1st with it. We've had several meetings, two official meetings already. The partners right now, the colony partners, back up a little bit, our SNBS, uh, Wyndham Net, City of Monticello, Scott County, Wright County, and the City of St. Cloud. Now we're reaching out to many other uh, entities. you got Cross Lake, you know, Barnes has been a public man, still doing broadband since 1905 or something, forever with it. Uh, you got Lake County, Cook County. And they keep kind of coming out of the woodwork. There's people that have fiber everywhere that want to do things with it. And our goal is, you know, we've got the Minnesota Telecom Alliance, which is kind of the private, smaller partners out there. And they get together and have meetings, and, you know, they go down and advocate for broadband. They legislate. They got some, you know, political poll. Well, we need to kind of get together as a group and have kind of the same message, which we really do, because we're trying to bring broadband to rural areas with it. You know, one of the interesting things, we've got some pretty big players that are up around the Twin Cities. They're kind of finding out they need the little guys down here in southwest Minnesota more than we need them. Because we're not going to get out so long and everything else out of it. And they've been some really good meetings. I mean, a couple of business deals have already inspired out of the meetings already. So it's a good alliance to kind of bring us together, push that, you know, everybody wants to have it. So let's do the players and then help. You know, you've got Annandale trying to figure out some. You've got Sibley County where we maybe we'll help them a little bit and bring them to the table and let them sit around. Our last meeting, we actually met at the League of Minnesota City's uh, telecom policy meeting. We had that first. Well, a bunch of us kind of showed up for them on that board also. But we're talking about a lot of things. And then we had the meeting, and it just turned into we actually had about 30 people show up. And everybody, of course, wanted it. There was a lot of people from you know, St. Paul going, we wish you had it. I kind of said, well, have you ever heard of Wildwood, Minnesota? No, no, there's population 63, they have fiber alone. They're like, really? We can't get it here right across the capital. So it was kind of interesting. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody. Our Naomi, she was, she's been babysitting, or the nanny for the Blinding Project, doing a wonderful job. The whole SNDS staff, the guys dressed in the bright colors here, with the chefs and the cooks and did all the cleaning.